Welcome back to the Force 9 YouTube channel. Welcome back to Football Manager 2018 and the Rolling Stone save with Maidstone United. And in today's video, we are facing league leaders easily away from home. Uh, we are second, they are first. This should be a big match. We can't catch them today, but we can definitely make some ground on them. If you're enjoying the videos, make sure you drop a like down below, leave comments, and if you want to see videos as I'm going to turn up on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button. I'm going to get a few more views on this series. I'm going to stick to it because it's a conference save and I've not done a long league save before. I just like a few more views because it's really struggling at the moment. So help me out. Uh, so anyway, uh, last time we defeated Wrexham. We did. We beat Wrexham 3-1. Uh, Biami and McCourt got their first goals for the club and Harley Willard also scored. So since then, we still haven't lost. We're still unbeaten and we're, I don't know how many games in now, probably about 12 games in and we haven't lost yet, but there's been a lot of draws, so that's why we're not top. Uh, so six games played off screen and we started off against Macclesfield at home and our home form is still a little bit iffy. It was towards the end of the last year, we had some home defeats and some silly draws and uh, yeah, we can't seem to do as well at home at the moment. But yeah, against Macclesfield, it was 1-1. Harvey Willard got the goal for us. And it was uh, Noah Baba for Macclesfield getting the goal. It was one each. Um, it was it was pretty even. I mean, like, I guess this was fair. Other than our goal, we weren't brilliant. I mean, Spence has not been a great lo a great signing, really, um, on loan from Cardiff. He's just been very average, apart from pre-season. He's got a few goals. But since that, not a lot. Uh, against Torquay, we were wasteful. Like, we were really wasteful. 22 shots, 7 on target, only won 1 0, and we didn't even score that goal. It was a Callum Preston own goal in the 22nd minute. I mean, Loza with a 6.3 in this game. Uh, we defended pretty well. Um, the court did well before getting subbed off with a, a knock. Um, yeah, <sighs> we were all over them. We just couldn't score. I mean, we won, but I say we didn't score that. Against Tranmere, um, this was just a boring match. This was just really boring. It was 1-1 again, away from home this time. Uh, Arthur Nahua scored Tranmere's goal. And in the second half, it was uh, the French uh, loan sign in Biermu who scored on 73 minutes. This was just a boring match. Not a lot happens. Again, apart from the goal, we weren't great. Spence had a better game. Winter defended well. But only 16 efforts all game. It was just really boring. Not a lot happened. There wasn't even a yellow card in this game either. Next up was Ebb's Fleet, and this was a game that we actually won at home. We actually won our next three, so you know what the result the results are. It's just waiting to see what the scores are. Well, we won this one, two, one. Uh, Jamal Loza scored on the seventh minute to give us the lead, uh, and then in the second half, uh, Ebb's Fleet equalised through Dexter Blackstock, fifty-six minutes in. Uh, but we did get a winner not long after that. Maxim Bimu with a fabulous goal from about 25, 30 yards out. Really good finish from outside the area. It was a fantastic goal. And it gave us the win. McCourt did really, really well before coming off. He was he was really good defensive rock in midfield. Uh, Lozer and Bimu, the goal scorers, did well. Again, Winter's been pretty solid in defence. So, uh, yeah, this was better. Much better. Uh, the fifth game off screen was against Maidenhead, a home game, which again we won. Maxim Biamu getting the only goal on 58 minutes. Uh, he did well, but other than him, no one else really stood out. Roy Howell defended well, left back. Jeb had a decent game. Hines and Lowe's were poor, as was McCourt. Um, and then other guys came on, and uh, yeah, I mean, we, we saw it out. Uh, which brings me on to the final game, which was against Dagenham and Redbridge. And I was going to do this one live. I said I was going to do either Dagenham and Redbridge or Eastley, who are second and first. And I decided I wanted to do Eastley, so I played Dagenham game. Big mistake. Because you would have been witness to a nine-goal thriller in which, from 84th minute onwards, there were five goals. Like, I could not believe what I was watching. This, this match was absolutely insane. Dagenham and Redbridge have been they've been a nuisance this series. They beat us in the um, FA Trophy final last season. I think we had a couple of draws in the league. And this one ended 5-4 to us. I was just absolutely shocked and you know amazed that we actually got a win against this because I didn't, really didn't think we were going to. Uh, but we took the lead. Joe Piggott, 26th minute, giving us the 1-0 lead. Uh, and then Dagenham pulled it back just before half-time. Morgan Ferrier, first half injury time. Uh, not a good time to concede. It was 1-1. And then after that, you know, come back out. And Louis McIntosh scored a hat-trick. Uh, 47th minute, you know, not long after the restart. So a goal either side of half-time. Uh, before his other two goals, though, Zavon Hines did pull it back to uh, to two each. Uh, and he got a goal on the 54th minute. 
uh, before McIntosh got his a brace in the 84th and the 88th minute to give himself a hat trick and make it 4 2 to uh, Dagenham and Redbridge. And then, you know, I tracked it on overload. I thought, you know, we might as well. I mean, we conceded five a few times last season. Why not do it again? We didn't concede five. We scored five. Joel Grant made it 4 3 on 91st minute. And then two goals in a minute. Maxim Biamu and Jamal Loza in the 93rd minute made it 4 4 and then 5 4. After the 4 4, I threw it on defensive and we still got a winner because I was just going to go for a draw. And then amazingly, almost just seconds after kickoff, Jamal Loza put it in and we won 5 4. I was absolutely stunned. I mean, both teams defended horribly in this game, but. I mean, well, nine goals. That's the most goals we've had in a, in a game so far. It was eight from last season against uh, Hartlepool, the 5-3 that we lost. But uh, this one is the most goals we've seen in a game so far. Nine goal thriller against Dagenham and Redbridge. Absolutely amazing. So the last three games ended in victory and we are still unbeaten in the National League, which is brilliant. There's just been a few more draws and other light. So that puts us in second place. Uh, we are six points behind EC, so as I said, we can't catch them today, but we can make ground. Uh, we're the only two teams left that are unbeaten, so... Uh, Someone might lose that today, hopefully easily. I mean, we've drawn six games so far this season, which is more than anybody I think it is. We are definite draw specialists at the moment. And seven wins is great. Um, we haven't lost any games. If we'd have turned some of those silly draws into wins, we'd be winning this division. So that's a bit disappointing, but we haven't lost yet. Loza's top scorer at the moment with six goals. Three of those did come in one match, though, against Forest Green. Um, but yeah, team's doing well. So, uh, Sin Spencer's on international duty again. He loves playing for Wales under 21s. So, uh, he can't play today, meaning we will bring Jeb into midfield. We are almost at a clean bill of health. We had a few injuries, but there weren't very short injuries. There weren't very long injuries. Hartley is the only person who's actually out at the moment uh, with a calf injury. He's going to be back in about a week. But everyone else is back. Oli Muldoon is back. So, we could bring him straight in. Edmonds had a, sh had a sh short spell out. Uh, Magnus is back. Uh, who's the left guy? Joel Grant is back. He's not going to play today. We're going to go uh, Willard. But yeah, um, the team's looking much, much better. I'm going to start Piggott this game. You know, he did well against uh, Dagenham. I gave to Horse to start because he was complaining about lack of football and he didn't really reward me with much. But we're going to leave him out today. We're going to put Hines on the bench. Uh, the defence is not tired, but is a little bit lower conditioning than everybody else. Um... And they conceded four last time around. We're going to put Magnus in for Finney. Just try and freshen that up a bit. And I'm going to bring on... I'm going to put Burley in there. Let's let's try... Let's try Burley. But here we go. In the league. The two unbeaten teams in the league. Is I'm going to lose that record today. My voice is going. That's not good. Caught a long throw here for Eastley. Into the box. And it's headed towards goal. But Dull with an easy save to make. Another long throw. Obeng this time. And it's headed clear, only as far as Holland's though. Is this going to be a long effort? It is, and it comes off the post. And um, uh, Williamson was offside. I thought he might have been fouled then, but he was offside. First half an hour, um, not really done much. I've only had a couple of shots, and I think they've been wayward. But they've had three on target. Um, we've just had our first one. And uh, ten minutes left in a half. There's not been a great deal happen for us. We've not really seen much football. But hopefully we can push on and do something. They've got an injury to Hunt, which is fortunate for us. But it's almost half time here. Not the uh, greatest half in the world. They had a decent chance from a long throw. But other than that, not a lot else has happened. We've gone for the media team talk. They like that. Let's look at these tactics. Let's see what we can do. Let's push Willard a bit further forwards. We're going to just go with a 4 2 4. Um, I've been switching these guys around recently. It seems to be doing better. Having them with uh, Jeb on the left and McCourt on the right. It's not working out for whatever reason. I don't know if one of them's left footed and right footed. I'm going to turn the tempo up a little bit. Second half underway. They've made another change. I've already made two subs, which is uh, uh, fine. Do that. They had an injury in the first half. Ball bounces off McCallum. Here's Jack Jeb. And Piggott doesn't get to that. It's cleared forward. And Williamson's one on one hit. Good save by Durl. And it's cleared away. To Horse will keep this in play. What could we do? See, Jeb's on the 6.4. We've got no Spence on the bench either. So we could bring on Reason for Jeb. Corner to defend here. We've not been in this game really. We've not created a, any good chances. We haven't seen, if we have, we haven't seen them. So they can't be good chances. And a header over the goal by McCallum. Do you know what? They're having a lot of chances. I'm going to put it on the counter-attack. It's a bold strategy. Tomamazi with the ball forward. Finds Jamal Loza. And there is a... 
Piggott in the middle and Zab oh, well, it wasn't Zabrowski, he's not our player, that was their defender. Here's Williamson, Tuamazi gets to that again and a ball forward. Piggott won't get to this unless Boyce makes a big mistake here. Goes back to the goalkeeper. That's forwards. Who's going to win this? Tomasi heads it forward. Hollands. Camjo. Finds uh, Zabrowski. That's a good ball. And can we deal with this, please? Roberts. Williamson. And it's going in. Yeah, 1-0. Ben Williamson scores the goal. We've just not been in this game. But, like, I haven't seen this create a chance yet. And that's disappointing. Disappointing to can see this goal. It was a brilliant ball up to Zabrowski. And then it was headed away by Burley. Robertson played it to Williams, and Williams had a clear sighted goal. No, it was unfortunate. All right, coming up to the hour, uh, let's make some changes. Right, Lowe's has not done well today, so we're going to take him off. We're going to put uh, to Horst up front and bring on Zavon Hines. And we're going to take off Jeb and bring on Reason. And we're going to make him that central midfielder on support. I'm going to leave it on standard. I don't want to go counter-attacking. I was going to try and go a little bit more direct and, you know, to try and take a few of these things off. Yeah, I'm going to try that. And I'm just going to go a little bit wider as well. I mean, if we get to 70 and we're still behind, we'll go put it on attacking. In fact, I'm going to do that now. Uh, oh, they've got a third injury now. They've made all their subs. Um, I'm going to push... Ask them to push forward because I haven't seen this create a chance today. 78 minutes. I don't want to make another sub yet. It's too early. If we do, though, do we throw Beermu up and uh, on? That's what we did against uh, Dagenham, so we could do that. Or we could... I'll take off Willard, he's not done well, and bring on Grant. That's my two options. Let's put the defensive line a bit higher, and let's get stuck in and be expressive. And if we go over to 80 minutes, which we're just about to... Um, yeah, we're at a couple more shots, but nothing else really right. We're going to make that last change. Um... McCourt's going to come off. We're going to go three up top again. Uh, bring on Biamu. Uh, overload now. Because we ha I, I, I don't think we've had a chance in this game. I've not seen us have actually have a shot. Into injury time now. Uh, route one. More risks. It's, it's just disappointing. It's really disappointing. There's not been a lot happens. Like, they've had their one goal and that's it. Look how much... Like, no look how few highlights they've been. This is our only chance, really. We're not even going to get that, are we? Yeah. Just really lackluster. Really boring. And I chose to record this over a nine goal thriller against Dagenham. That's annoying. We had two half chances and that was it. I mean, they could have had about three goals today. But we were really poor. We were really poor. Oh, and Dagenham have leapfrogged us now. Uh, they beat Forest Green easily and running away with it at the moment. They're still unbeaten. They've got 11 wins, three draws. Yeah, they're going to be the ones to catch this year, it seems. Well, uh, that didn't go as planned. Uh, what do we have coming up? We've got York City soon. Um, that's a team that we haven't faced because I think they were promoted from uh, the National League North. Uh, we did actually have our FA Cup fourth qualifying draw. Uh, we drew Hereford in a home game. But again, I'm going to try and play about five or six games off screen. So we'll be going up to around the end of November. So uh, next time, I think we'll do uh, either Aldershot or York City. We might have an FA Cup first round match around here. If it falls sort of around here, then I'll do that. because uh, Well, that's if we get a good team. If we get a big draw, then I'll do the FA Cup matches. But if we get someone who's like the same division as us or someone below us, then I won't bother. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead about a month. That That's pretty much it, really. So... Uh, um, yeah, I'm going to aim for York, newly promoted, we'll see if we can get that far, and they're in fourth as well, they're doing pretty good. But anyway, that is going to do it for today, thank you for watching, if you have enjoyed the video make sure you drop a like down below, leave comments, and if you want to see videos as and when they turn up on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button, and share it around as well, share it on Twitter, share it on Facebook, because you know, I want more people to see this, I don't really, I don't share this on my Facebook at all, because there's not a lot of people that know that I actually do this. But um, yeah, share it around because I want as many people as possible to see to see my to see my channel. So share it, and I, I don't say this, but the little bell down below, click that and get notifications because you might not always see my videos, and you know how YouTube is—they're changing stuff every month. So click the little bell, and you you'll definitely see my videos. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll leave it there. Uh, next time, I'm gonna try and get to York, and uh, hopefully we'll. We'll stay in the, in the hunt for promotion. We won't be too far behind easily, hopefully. Um, we'll try not to lose again off screen as well. 
Thank you for watching. I will see you soon. Goodbye.